Number 17, the position of a particle moving along the x-axis is given in centimeters by x equal to 9.75 plus 1.5 t to the third, where t is in seconds. Calculate letter A, the average velocity during the time interval, t equal to 2 seconds to t equal to 3 seconds. Calculate the instantaneous velocity at t equal to 2 seconds, the instantaneous velocity at t equal to 3 seconds, the instantaneous velocity at t equal to 2.5 seconds, and the instantaneous velocity when the particle is midway between its position at t equal to 2 seconds and t equal to 3 seconds. Letter F, graph x versus t, and indicate your answers graphically. Okay, so for letter A, we want the average velocity, so the average velocity is given by delta x over delta t, and in this case, the final position is when t equals to 3 seconds, so x of 3 minus x of 2, over 3 minus 2. So if we want to solve this equation over there, we have to calculate x of 3 and x of 2. So x when t is equal to 3 seconds is equal to 9.75 plus 1.5 times 3 to the third. And this gives us, let's see, 50.25 centimeters. Why centimeters? Because it says over here it is centimeters, right? We also need x of 2, so this is seven. No, this is 9.75 plus 1.5 times 2 to the third, and this is equal to 21.75 centimeters. Now we can just replace in this equation over here, and then we find the average velocity, so this is 50.25 minus 21.75 divided by 1, because it's 3 minus 2 equal to 1, right? So this gives us 28.5 centimeters per second. So this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, the instantaneous velocity. So for letter B, C, D, and E, we want the instantaneous velocity. So the instantaneous velocity is given by the derivative of the position in function of time. So we have to take the derivative of this equation over here. Uh, so we have to take the derivative of 9.75 plus 1.5 t to the third in respect of t. And this gives us this gives us 4.5 times t, t squared. So the velocity in function of time is given by 4.5 t squared. So this is the function that we have to use for letter a, b, c, d, and e. So letter b the instantaneous velocity at t equals to 2 seconds. So we just have to calculate v of 2, and this is 4.5 times 2 squared, and this gives us 18 centimeters per second. Don't forget to include the unit. The letter c, t equal to 3, so v of 3, and this gives us 4.5 times 3 squared, and this gives us 40.5 centimeters per second. Letter D, we have to find V of 2.5, and this is 4.5 times 2.5 squared, and this gives us roughly 28.1 centimeters per second. Okay, now for letter E, we have to use this equation again, however, this is a little bit different. In fact, we don't have to use this equation. So for letter E, the instantaneous velocity when the particle is midway between its position. So now you have to find the velocity. However, we don't know t, right? We don't know t. We have to use this equation, but 
at the first glance we don't know the value of t we have to find the value of t first how we find the value of t so we have the first thing that we have to do is find the midway between its position at t equals to 2 and t equals to 3 so let's see when the clock shows us two seconds the particle is in this position over here and when the clock shows us three seconds it is in this position so midway between those position is x of 3 plus x of 2 divided by 2 right so this is the midway between those positions so this is equal to 50.25 plus 21.75 and this is equal to 72 divided by 2 so this is equal to 36 centimeters so we have to find when the particle reaches 30 when the particle is at 36 centimeters so we are going to use this equation over here and try to find the value of t so 36 is equal to 9.75 plus 1.5 times t to the third and the solution of this equation over here is t equal to 2.596 seconds so this is the t that we are looking for so we just have to replace this value over here by this value over here and then we find the velocity so this is the velocity of 2.596 which is equal to 4.5 times 2.596 squared and this gives us roughly 30.3 centimeters per second so that's the answer of letter e letter f graph x versus t and indicate your answers graphically this is a third degree equation so it's not that easy to draw it so let me just paste the answer for you here so this is the graph over here and how can you find for example the average the average velocity for letter a we just take this position over here where t is equal to 2 is t is equal to 3 and then you just take this delta x over here and divide it by this delta t over here right so this would give us the answer of letter a for letter b since we want the instantaneous velocity we have to take the tangent lines over here the the, the slope of the tangent lines for example when t is equal to 2 the instantaneous velocity is given by the slope of this tangent line over here and when t is equal to 3 this is the slope of this tangent line over here and so on so that's how you could find your answer graphically and that's it